Look at these kids education channel where they are giving simple animations and they are earning more than 66.9k dollar per year. In today's tutorial, we are going to see how to create a kids educational content like this. Apples, oranges and grapes. Let's dive in. Where we will be animating different objects or different fruits or even letters for free and create channel and start earning anywhere between two to five thousand dollar per month so make sure you stick around with me till then and for now let's begin with this tutorial step one creating the video script for this we can use chat gpt 3.5 version which is a free version and in this box you'll have to give you a prompt write a short script on for an educational YouTube video on give the topic. If it is fruit, give fruit. If it is alphabets, numbers, solar system, planets, anything you can give. The video should talk about give the main bullet points and the flow, whether it is friendly, teaching, or educational. So that flow you'll have to give for you target your target audience. If it is kids below two years old, then give that. And also give the word limit. So for me, this is the prompt. Write a short script for the educational YouTube video on three fruits, apple, orange and grapes. The video should talk about their colors and food value and for two years old kids within 100 words and then go to send message option. Voila, I have got my script ready. I will show you another alternative to ChatGPT. Go to canva.com and open a new account with your Gmail or email account. Then from this search bar, you go to YouTube video and hit enter. Go to this blank template. Then come to this bottom right hand side Canva assistant and go for magic write. If you don't get it, you can also type magic write here. Although this is a pro feature, so if you want to use pro Canva pro for free for 30 days, go to the link given in the description and then you can use Canva pro for 30 days without paying anything to Canva. So I will give the same prompt here as well and go to generate see i have got a nice script and now we can simply copy paste this when we will be creating the video now let us move forward to the next part where we will be generating the voiceover for voiceover you may use any tts or text to speech platform 11 labs is one of the best platforms for this video i am using flicky.ai the link will be given in the description below now go to new file and select audio only. Give a file name. Go to this empty file option. You can also specify the language and the accent which you are looking for. And submit. Select the voiceover artist. And from here you can just play and listen to the voice. If you like it, you can just select it. Now meanwhile, see our um, audio file is ready. So I will simply go ahead and download the file. Now, in the next part, we are going to create the animated character for free. So for this, we are going to use Adobe Free Animation Maker for YouTube. You will be given this link in the description. So just go ahead and click and select. Now it will ask you to sign up. You can sign up for free. Now go to this create now option. Okay. Now we have tons and tons of characters here. You see, so you can choose any one. You can even select as per your requirement. So I am going to get a creature. So let me see what I get here. So I'm going to take this unicorn, okay? Now next is go to this size option and you can select nine is to 16 or widescreen ratio. Okay, from here, go to this background option. You can select any background which you find to be suitable from here. Alternatively, we can go ahead in Canva itself and select the background. I'm showing you both of it. Now I have selected this background. Now go to this record option either you can record your own voice. Otherwise go to this browse option and select the file which we have just downloaded which is this one. Now it is generated you can Hello little learners. Today we're going to explore the map. Okay. So if you like it, just go ahead and download. Our download is completed. Now let us move back to Canva. 
So for creating the fruits, we will be going to element section. Here type the fruit name. For me, apple is the first fruit, so I will type apple. Then in graphic section, you will get different apples. So select the one you like. Well, I like this one. So just enlarge it a little bit. Then again in this section, I will have to type cartoon hands. Now go to the see all option and select the hand which you like. For me, I like this hand. Just drag it in the right place. Now go to this color section from the top bar. Go to this plus button. Take the picker and pick the color from apple. Now go to this position option. Go arrange and backwards. Now just duplicate the hand from here. Just shift it a little bit. Go to this flip option and flip it horizontally. Drag it to the opposite side and same way go backwards. So we are done with our hands. Now we are going to look for cartoon legs and enter. Same way we will go to this graphic section and we'll select the suitable one. We will bring it downwards. But here since the legs are of opposite side, we need to have the legs in the same side. Why? That you will get to know once we go to the next part. So first things first, we will go to this color section. We will simply copy the hex code from here. And go to the leg part, go to this plus section and just paste it. Now go to this crop section on the top and just crop one leg. Then done. And then simply duplicate it and place side by side. And then again pressing shift, select them together and go to position and do backward. Now just position the apple in the right way. And now let us go for the next element which is cartoon face. If you don't give the exact same keyword, you won't be getting the satisfactory element. Now from here in the same way, choose the one which is suitable. I am taking this one. I will just enlarge it a little and see the guideline, the dotted lines and then selecting this and select all the limbs together and group them together. Now like this, I have created orange as well. To create the next one, which is grapes, I just need the grapes from here. Now I will go to these part and I will simply copy this and just paste it here, ungroup it, then keeping shift pressed, I will just the apple and delete it. And go to this position option, go to layers. Select all the layers by pressing shift from your keyboard and Go to arrange and backward. All together they will go backwards. Now just make it little enlarged. Just go to this top right hand side share button. Go to download button. From here select PNG. Now select this transparent background on. This is a pro feature. If you don't use pro version then I will give you a free software where you can remove the background. Which three want to download. Go to done and download. If you don't have a pro feature, then go to Google Chrome and go to Adobe BG Remover. This is a free tool. You can upload with background image here in Adobe BG Remover and that also will remove the background easily for free. Now, in this step, we will be heading back to Canva and in this element bar, we will be taking cartoon background. Okay, so I have selected this background. Then go to this edit photo option and take a nice filter where you get a brighter image. So I'm getting this filter from here and simply right click and set it as background. Now we will be going for birds. You can take any bird. I'm taking this one since this is animated. Make it sure small and you can give it an angle also. Just place it here. Now I will simply make a couple of copies of it. And then I will press shift and select all these three together and group them. Now simply go to animation section, go to create an animation and just make it like this. If you don't like it, you can delete the path and go to again creating animation. Just select them like this. Okay. And then go to the smooth animation, increase or decrease the speed. And you can just do done. And that way you can just play and check.
okay like this you can create any animation let's suppose if you want a butterfly okay so now what you can do is you can go to this share option go to this download option keeping mp4 selected just uncheck all these boxes just check the video and go done and download okay so we are done with this part now another way of animation we'll have to do go to google browser and search for sketch meta demo lab and go to this animated drawing option here you go to this get started option accept and go to get started option now you'll have to upload those images now go to get started and then upload your image and go to next now agree and make sure the image all the parts of the image is nicely selected and go to next now make sure these dots are in the right place wherever there is a limb these are kind of the joints which will make it move once this is done go to next and see there are so many animations as per your requirement you can animate them go to this uh, bottom right hand side corner then right click save the video as then select the directory where you want to save and save it in mp4 format now we are at the final stage where we will be curating all this together to create the final video for this i am using filmora 12 you may use any basic video editing software so if you're using filmora 12 go to this keep this 16 is to 9 this widescreen ratio selected and go to new project now go to import option go to media files and import all the files which we have downloaded once all the files are imported then bring the first slide okay this is my first slide first i will be bringing apple online on another track in the timeline now this has got a problem this has got a background so i will have to double click you can just scale it up by dragging this double and then keep the chroma key on then go to this picker and pick the white color now here's a problem uh, you see as soon as the white color is vanished the eyes colors are also vanished what best you can do is you can just change the offset a little bit and check if adding tolerance can help so now once all these things are done we can give some effects so go to this effects tab now you can use any of these effects so what best is uh, according to me uh, just drag and drop it in the upper segment on the upper timeline double click on this and then you can change the frames the opacity okay the speed okay so once this is done just check hello little learners today we're going to explore the magical world of fruits and last but not the least you can add some beautiful uh, music so for that you can go to either this go to this audio library you also search by happy by any keyword okay so if you like any of these just drag and drop it the bottom line let it get downloaded so it has come in the timeline double click on this you can reduce the volume you can give a fade in and a fade out effect and then once everything is done go to this export button you can change the name select the directory where you want to save just select the high resolution or quality and then export it and this is the final result hello little learners today we're going to explore the magical world of fruits apples oranges and grapes let's dive in first up the shiny red apple what color is it red and guess what it helps keep us healthy and gives us energy. Yum! Next, the juicy orange. What color is it? Orange. It's like a burst of sunshine. Oranges have vitamin C that makes our bodies super strong. Last but not least, the tiny grapes. What color are they? Purple and green. Grapes are like tiny flavor bombs and they're good for our hearts. So, remember, colors are fun. And so are these super fruits. See you next time, little friends.
and if you want to know different models different ai tools please do visit www.vacpaymedia.in where we have created a comprehensive course for you all which is getting an early bird offer as well at this moment so guys if you like this video please 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 do subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and please consider to give me a like one small request please do share my content with your friends and family so that i can thrive in every single day to create new videos like this for you all thank you so very much for staying here with me i'll come back with some fun tutorial next week till then stay safe and stay legendary